Hey, welcome to Color Up. As you guys know, I'm a $5 player, but during this pandemic, it's almost impossible. There are a couple out there, but it's imp almost impossible to find a $5 table. More often, we're looking at a $15 table. Well, today I got a strategy just for you. Low rollers, but you gotta play a $15 table. Let's check it out. So how nice was it when we could take $32 and go across and cover all the numbers? That gets us 24 combinations for just $32. Not too shabby. But nowadays, on a, on a $15 table, we're looking at $96 to go across. Well, if you got a bankroll of two, dollars $300, well, you probably shouldn't be paying at a $15 table and maybe you do something else. I typically will pass. But if you're at $300, it's close but I got a little something for you that can maybe work. Now I got this strategy from Coach Fab on the Casinos USA podcast, and we're gonna go ahead and call this the Pandemic Special. Now if you wanna play $96 across, you certainly could. He recommends uh, if you play that way, go ahead after one or two heads, go ahead and go off on your bets and uh, wait for a new shooter. You just never know. But he did give another recommendation. We're gonna cover the five, six, and eight with three units each. So we got 15 and $18 each on the six and eight. So that's a $51 investment. So it's about half, but we're only covering half the numbers as well. Now you're looking to get a hit from one of these numbers, the five, six or eight. And if you do, the payout's gonna be $21. We're gonna go ahead and press everything up a unit. And we gotta make some change here. And we're gonna take these up and we're just gonna rack the $4. And now we've got $24 bets on the six and eight and a $20 five. So that's our first hit. We're looking to hopefully get one more hit on the five, six or eight. That's gonna pay us $28. Or I can pay it out this way. Because what we're gonna do is we are now going to go ahead and go in the field for the minimum, minimum bet of $15. We'll go ahead and rack the rest. And then we're gonna run the Fremont Grind, Iron Cross, anything but seven. Obviously the strategy has a lot of names. But the reason we're gonna pump these up first is because if we roll the five, six, or an eight, you don't want the amount in the field and these numbers up here to be the same. Cause then you're just going back and forth. But on this situation where we got these up to four units, you're gonna win a little bit, even if you hit the five, six, and eight, and you're hoping to hit the rest of the numbers. Cause remember with the field, you have every single number covered now, except for big red. Let's go ahead and give this a try and see if we can roll some five, six, and eights early in our rolls and color up. Let's go ahead and give this a try with a $300 bankroll. Again, that's really not enough for a $15 table, but it'll give you a couple shots at it. And uh, yeah, but really you're kind of short for bankroll, but we're gonna go ahead and see what happens. Um, we're gonna assume someone else is shooting because we really can't afford to bet the line as well. So let's just play this on someone else. Here we go, coming out. Eight, eight hard. There's our eight. We just wish we were on it, right? So let's go ahead, I'll do it this way. Eh. Three units, three, three. I'm gonna take $10 is uh, yeah, four and change. So we get our proper caps. And here we go, we gotta see that five, six and eight. There's the nine. And there's the six, there we go. Off to a good start. So that'll pay us 21. We're gonna take the five up, the six and eight up, and there's a nickel or a penny. And we're gonna to hope to hit it one more time so we have enough to get in the field so we can get all the numbers covered, all the combinations. There's the 10, doesn't help us. And seven, seven out. So it's not gonna work that time. Puck is off. And we're gonna get a new shooter. All right, new shooter coming out, here we go. Yo, yo 11, still looking for a point. And six, six is gonna be our point. All right, here we go. Three units of each. And we need six bucks, do we have enough? No, we don't. So we're gonna take 
three there, take a nickel, two and change. And we are set up and ready to see that inside hit. Here we go. And there we go, there's that eight, take it. 18 is gonna pay 21. Again, we're gonna press the five, six and eight. Go ahead and drop a dollar. And we'll rack that nickel. And now we got four units on them. We need to see one again. There we go, there's the six, like it. That's gonna pay us 28. We can go ahead and rack that. And now we have enough money, we can do 15 in the field. So now we got all the numbers covered and we're gonna hope for a long roll and ride this thing out. Here we go. And I'm gonna call that an eight. This would drop and that'll be an eight. So we lose this, but we'll get, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pay it out this way. We'll get 28. So back in the field for 15 and racking 13. Now he says if you do start hitting some uh, outside numbers and you feel like they're hot or something, uh, go ahead and place those as well instead of doing it with the field. So we got the five, no field five. So down comes 15 and we're gonna pay out 28. So again, we're back in the field and racking 13. So basically these are gonna pay us 13. This is gonna pay us 15. Here we go. And we got an eight, eight the hard way. They don't need to be in the field, just, we're just wasting money, but that's okay, we're covering all the numbers. So again, get page 28. We'll go back in for 15 and rack 13. Four, four easy. It's just gonna win us 15. Go ahead and rack that up. And obviously it's up to you whenever you wanna press or change the amount, you can. I'm just gonna ride it out for this video. So another quick $15 win. Obviously you can go off at any time. There's the five, no field five. Down comes the field. We're gonna get paid 28. So back in the field for three units. Racking 13. Here we go. Three, AC Ducey. It's a winner in the field. Quick 15, we'll rack that up. Decent little roll we got going on here. I still don't know if we've made up for the first roll, but there's the 10. A couple more of those and we will have another 15. Eight, no field eight. So down comes the field. And when you're gonna, oh, I got a red in there. Gonna pay out 28. So we're in the field for 15 and racking 13. Here we go. And there's a nine. Center field nine. $15 winner. Go ahead and rack it. Here we go. Six, easy six. It's not in the field. So we'll take that, but we'll pay out 28. Leave 15 and rack 13. Just repeating the same thing over and over again, but that's how the uh, basically how the iron cross works. There's a four, so 15. As long as you could avoid big red, we'll roll all night and just keep collecting a little bit at a time. There's the 10. Go ahead and win there. I'll put some money in the back there. We're running out of room. Here we go. Let's keep it going. There's the eight. Eight's not in the field. We got four units up here, so that'll pay 28. Here we go. And we got a nine, center field nine. Another quick 15. Got to get a stack of red again, getting low. Hopefully I didn't just jinx the roll. And we did not, 10, 10 the hard way. And 
And four, four easy. This makes the game of crafts look easy, doesn't it? We'll just keep collecting, collecting. <clears throat> There's the five. No field five, so this is gonna come down. Gonna come back out with 28 and rack 13. Put these over here. And we got a five. Five's not in the field, so we're gonna lose that. I'm gonna come back out with 28 though, so it's a $13 profit. And there it is, big red. Nice roll. So this is all gonna come down. Now if you came in with a small bank roll and you uh, colored up like that with a roll like that, um, you might want to consider walking out, hitting the road, but uh, we'll give it we'll give it one more shot and see what happens. So new shooter. And let's let him get a point. And point is going to be eight. Eight's the point. So we'll go 50, 51. All right, three units, three units. Three units, and do we have enough ones? We got plenty of ones. All right, we're set up for three units. We're looking to hit one for the first time. There's that eight, so we hit it. It's gonna pay 21. We're gonna take the five, six, and eight up. Uh, let's see, three change out. A uh, dollar for caps. There we go. And if we can hit it one more time, we'll get in the field and cover the rest of the numbers. And dice off the table, no roll. I'm not afraid of you. No. And I should have been, there it is, seven, seven out. Should we do it one more time? I think so, we'll give it one more shot. Everyone knows when the dice goes off the table, you call, <clears throat> you call your bets off. All right, new shooter. Looking for a point. Here we go. Five. Five's the point. All right, let's go here. Three units, three units. Three units. We're ready to go. Let's see that? Five, six, or eight. Not going to happen, I think. We are done for the day. The dice are trying to tell us, take your winnings and go. If we're still up, I think we are, we should be. And uh, it looks like a little bit at least. So there you go. We'll call it the pandemic special. Um, you can't cover a lot of numbers, but whenever you're at a table that's kind of above your head or above your comfort level, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So let me know how you guys like to play on these $15 tables. And until next time, Good luck on coloring up.